The biggest risk that I ever take is staying true to myself and doing my thing, which could be repetitive to a lot of people. And, and just sticking to that kind of straight line, that's probably the biggest risk I ever do. I get criticized for it a lot. Oh, it's Rick, it's the Rick Owens look, it's the same old thing. And I think, you know, I think it's, I think it's great actually. I mean that I've created like some kind of identity or some kind of established some kind of aesthetic that, that's attributed to me. I think that's fantastic. I think if you look at this collection and the first collection next to each other, it'll, it, it's the same story. So it's just, um, it's just a examination of looking at it from a different angle. Um, it's, it's a very, it's a very quiet walk around the, the, the main story of what I'm doing. It's just looking at things from a different angle, from a um, different time of day. I mean, it's just a very subtle kind of re-examination of what I've always, always done, so. I strongly support fashion shows. I'm like totally behind fashion shows because, um, you know, the video is too controlled and there is no element of risk. And you know you have to have a little element of risk to like and be there in that moment and f for there to be that kind of magic. And you know throughout history, people have gathered together to celebrate beauty. And celebrating beauty in a communal moment, that's one of the best things in life. And you can't do that in a video. And um, and that's part of what fashion's about: celebrating something that everybody can feel at the same time. Fashion shows are kind of a pageant or a ceremony, and the clothes are like relics from that ceremony that you can keep. I like to think of it that way. I might be making it more poetic in my head, but I enjoy that. I enjoy that little story. I'm not really interested in design purely for design's sake. That that doesn't have any function. And with the clothes, especially, I was kind of resented extreme or dramatic silhouettes just being for the runway and, uh, and unsuitable or too radical for real life. And so what I always wanted to do was kind of combine both. And I tried to um, do exaggerated silhouettes, but in, in, in fabrics and washings that made it kind of adaptable towards to the day. I mean, a little bit dramatic, sure, but um, and I thought that that was um, a great way to bring radical silhouettes and corrupt the world. Everything should be wonderful. Just the most mundane, ordinary things um, should be, wouldn't it be nice if they were a little bit elevated? And I'm having right now, actually, we're just waiting for a delivery for these blocks of rock crystal, because I'm having toilets made in rock crystal instead of thinking about red carpet dresses or ball gowns. I mean, who needs a ball gown, <laughs> really? So, um, but we all need a rock crystal toilet, right? <laughs> this is really psycho. Should I be freaked out? Oh my God.